minutes. Thank you. Conspiracy, gross negligence, uh, just uh, two of the words used in a new lawsuit today and the seventh so far filed against the Murdoch family. News 3's Andrew Davis has been digging into the details and he is joining us live now in our Low Country newsroom with what he found. Well, this lawsuit is connected to the deadly 2019 boat crash that killed 19-year-old Mallory Beach. One of the passengers and the person who called 911, Connor Cook, says multiple levels of failures led to the crash, but he says it's what, what the Murdoch family tried to do after that may have been even worse. She's in the water. She's a, can you see her? No, no. That was Connor Cook the night of February 24th, 2019, calling 911 for help as his friend Mallory laid in the water, dying. The lawsuit puts the blame for the boat crash that killed her, first on the Parker store and clerk that sold Paul large quantities of alcohol while he was underage. He bought it using his brother Buster's ID. It goes on to say that Parker's inattention and focus on transaction speed over proper ID checks led to Paul being drunk and that deadly crash. From there, the focus is on the Murdoch family, who the attorneys claim knew Paul had a potential alcohol addiction, even having an alter ego named Timmy when he was drunk, and yet still let him have unrestricted use of the family boat. The boat that he was driving at a high rate of speed when it crashed, killing Mallory Beach. After the crash is when Alec Murdoch's name comes into play more. Cook says Murdoch obstructed the investigation by trying to control the narrative, going so far to tell Connor to keep his mouth shut about who was driving that boat. But he didn't stop there, according to the lawsuit, allegedly pushing Cook's family to use a lawyer he knew, a lawyer named Corey Fleming. Fleming just happened to be Alec Murdoch's former college roommate, his best friend, and Paul's godfather. After that, the suit says the Murdoch family conducted what it calls a whisper campaign to try and smear Connor's name and make people in the community believe he was behind the wheel when Mallory died. Cook, who suffered multiple fractures to his jaw and a serious cut to his face in that crash, says his family lived in fear that he would be wrongly arrested, charged, and go to jail. And this may not be the end of the lawsuits. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources and Beaufort County Sheriffs are each being named in another potential court case about to be filed by Cook's attorneys, claiming each was part of this conspiracy. In this suit, Cook is asking for monetary damages against the two Murdochs, Parkers, and the clerk who sold Paul alcohol on that day. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Andrew, thank you. We want to remind you, South Carolina's law enforcement division is still looking for information in the shooting deaths of Maggie and Paul Murdoch. SLED has set up a 24-hour tip line. That number is 803-896-2605. And the lawyers for the family of Murdoch's former housekeeper, Gloria Satterfield, say they have found the civil settlement order with the Murdoch's, which entitled her family to more than $2.6 million. That is money her sons say they still haven't seen. Satterfield fell down the stairs in the Murdoch home in 2018. Attorney Eric Bland says he will hand over the order to the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division for their investigation.